Away from Lagos to Ondo State, where a by election into the vacant Akuku Northeast Northwest federal constituency seat in the House of Reps witnessed a large turnout of voters. Now, the election in the two local government areas of the constituency was also peaceful. Our correspondent Ayodeji Muradio has more on this report. Election to fill the vacant Akoko Northeast Northwest Federal Constituency seat of the House of Representatives commenced as scheduled in Undo State. The process started at 8 in the morning with voters already on the queue to exercise their franchise at Ikado Unit 5 Ward 2 in Ubeakoko, Akoko Northeast Local Government Area. Voting materials and polling officials arrived on time. The situation was the same in other polling units visited in Oyeakoko, Okeagweakoko, and Arigidiakoko, among others. The turnout of voters at these polling units is highly impressive, as you can see. They came as early as possible to be part of this exercise to exercise that franchise for the candidates of their choice. Security personnel manned the polling units to maintain peace and forestall any form of violence. Some political actors and voters commended the turnout of voters for the exercise. The process appears to be going very well. You know. But again, we wait until the end of the day. Because usually, crises arise at, towards the end. So far, the exercise is peaceful. Um, people have come out, of course, to cast their votes, and we've not heard any negative report from any quarters. I've been calling people across the 23 wards, across the 329 polling units, and the reports we are hearing is that the whole process is peaceful and calm. Um, the security agents have been very dutiful. It's an isolated election, but in this case, you can see the people, they trooped out en masse. Here in Nokiagbe, and then I've called Ajawa, I've called Ogbagi, I've called Eshe. In this yeah, our unit, exactly. everything is going on well. The beavers is going on well here. Yeah. No problem. At the time of filing this report, sorting and counting of votes had ended the most polling unit in the federal constituency. Ayodeji Moradeo, TVC News, Ikare Akoko. Well, let's speak to our TVC News correspondent, Ayodeji Moradio, who monitored the exercise in Undu State. Ayodeji, you know, you, from your report, you noted that it was a high voter turnout, but in some states we're reporting, it's quite low. Could you share with us the reason behind the uh, participation of interest from voters is really high this time around in, in the areas you monitored? Uh, let me tell you that this is a clearly contested election. Where we will have two major contenders, and that explains why people turn out in, in large a mass to be part of this exercise. I can tell you that we visited Okiagwe, we were in Onyakoko, we were also in Ikare and other communities, and they all came out to exercise their franchise. And it was a peaceful election. I can tell you that we have security men who are there to ensure that. Uh, there is no breakdown of law and order. And I can also tell you that it was we have different categories of uh, voters. We have the elderly, we have young ones, the youth, and everybody came out to, to be part of this election. So it has been peaceful. I can tell you that the election is over. Sorting, sorting and counting have ended in all the 23 worlds in Akobo Northeast and Northwest federal constituency. As I'm talking to you, election is over, and now they will move uh, the, the, the vote to the coalition center where results will be released at the end of this exercise. And how soon are we likely to hear the announcement of the results? What are you hearing? Since the re results have been released at the polling unit, polling unit it, will be, it, it, it will be collected at the coalition center, and after this, the result will be out. And I can tell you that before the day runs out, to the, the results will be out for the people and the winner will be announced. Some of these results are already out, but we as journalists cannot authenticate this. We cannot release the outcome of the election. It is only the Independent National Electoral Commission that can do this. And we are waiting for this to be done. As I'm talking to you, I'm in Akoko, Ikare Akoko to be precise. And what has been the general perception on the part of the voters, the electorates, and also the political parties? Are they satisfied with the electoral process so far? 
Maybe this is because this is a staggered election. Uh, this is the only election that is taking place in the state. The people are commending the uh, electoral body, the Independent National Electoral Commission, for conducting a peaceful election. They arrived at the police unit as early as 8 a.m. And people are also on the queue waiting for them to arrive. And the election went on smoothly. And so people are commending INE for doing a yeoman's job, for doing a good job. They say this is a good one. And they will also say they can also improve on what they have done in this election. All right. And that's where we leave it for now. Thank you so much. Our correspondent live from us from Akure, Yodeji Muradiyo. Thanks a lot for the updates there. Well, let's quickly go on a short break. You still have more stories coming up in just a moment. Stay with us. Every major news story is with many perspective and layered with different levels of impact. Hello. What time did this happen? We will be right there. At TVC News, we follow the big and major news, gathering the facts, witnessing the outcome. I am here live for the aftermath of the approval of the new national minimum wage. We are TV station of the year, not just for breaking news, but for being first, fair and accurate. TVC News, first with breaking news. Welcome back. You're still on to TVC News. Well, let's take you to Plateau State, where a rerun election was held in Joss North and Bassa Federal Constituency, and low voter turnout was recorded in some of the areas. The situation was also the same in Yobe East, senatorial by election, and our correspondent, Funam Joshua and Michael Oshoma, have more on this. <laughs> 